Welcome to another episode of Inside the Harness Tree, Between Two Pumpkins. I'm Dan, and this is Peter from Dark Hand Designs. Am I right? Correct. Awesome. Um, Peter is a artist that designs everything from ornaments, wicked awesome ornaments, which I have one of these. These are freaking cool. And all the way up to full costumed, or are these mannequins or are these costumes? No, it's a costume. It's a costume? Yeah, costume? It's, it's a full head to toe costume ready to wear. That is awesome. Yep. That is awesome. So let's start at the beginning. What, are you a haunter? I mean, yeah, you, I started out as a haunter 12 years ago, okay. and I just kind of, uh, as I grew in the haunt industry, I kind of picked up more and more mm -hmm. knowledge and, and started advancing my skills more and more. Like, I started out, like, you know, as a basic bottom barrel makeup artist, yep. like, doing basic yep. stuff yep. that I'd be ashamed to, to present into the public, <laughs> you know, today. And now I've just kind of evolved into being able to do stuff like this and trying to take it from the hobby level to, to more a more professional, professional level. Right? To, to, to something that pays the bills. Right. Um, so let, let's start with these little guys. So what, what inspired these? Is there a backstory to these little beasties? Uh, yeah, just, you know, the love of creepy stuff and bringing it into other holidays. There's always been like a demand for people that are in to like horror or haunted houses that like bring that aspect of their life mm -hmm. because it's so important to them into the like the holiday season mm -hmm. and they want those kind of things to put yeah, on so the trees and on stuff like that, right. Yeah. So so that's kind of how that started and, and they've all always been made like, you know, handmade, one of a kind. Each one's always been different. Yes. These are really we make really similar really ones, but everyone's always been, yeah, Everyone's you know, unique like, to yeah. its own. There's mm -hmm. no, there's no rhyme or reason to them. They're really cool. Thank so, you. So I see you've got this box in yes. your hands. What what is that all about? What what do you got going on there? Uh, this is kind of like a human cannibal, like serial killer inspired art, like Ed Geenish. Okay, you know, like and, a skin box. Right, a skin box been stitched together and ornamented with uh, teeth and eyes and the you know the outsides on or the insides are on the outside and the outsides on the, on the inside. inside. There's like a flannel lined on the nice. on the inside of the box. Nice. And, yeah. Those are cool. You can find those on your Etsy store as well. Yeah, these are awesome. On the Etsy store as well. Awesome. So let's get to the awesome here. The, this costume. Do you? Is there a whole line of these? Is it? Are they all one-offs? Do you do just zombies? What's? Uh, explain to me what you got going on. Okay, over here. this is something that uh, I just finished a few weeks ago. These are going to be like full head-to-toe zombie costumes that we're going to be offering. And uh, basically, what it is is uh, there's a oh, there's a whole a, a whole body suit, suit underneath of a. Uh, of an exposed, you know, rotting sure. corpse, so that you know, it's a cohesive character multi, from head to toe. Layer. Like no matter what's showing through, you're always gonna. So see. and you create the mask as well, then? Is uh, that or is that part of the mannequin? I I made I assembled. That's something called a sock mask. That's sure. where you take a foam yep. latex prosthetic, that's normally applied for a makeup job, mm -hmm. and you apply it to a base covered mm -hmm. in latex. I use nylon. Some people okay. use painter hood. Mm -hmm. It all depends on how you make mm -hmm. them. Uh, this is actually a piece from uh, Effects Faces by Boneyard okay. Effects. Sure. I believe this one's called uh, Decayed. Okay. That's their Decayed Zombie. So, Effects Faces, Boneyard Faces. Effects did, the, did this prosthetic, not me. But everything else was sculpted by me, like the, so the front, the back. There's also like an exposed uh, spine. So there's multiple layers and... to this costume. So at now in your booth, you've got a bunch of t-shirts. On there, you, are there pants as well that go under the pants? Is that how that works? Yes. Well, all the shirts right now, those were ones that I made before I finished the whole set. Okay. So right now, those don't have any like matching pieces. Okay. So right now, I only have the two full sets that I brought here today. Okay. This is the one with the costume awesome. over it, and then I brought an example to show of what's what's what? underneath the costume in case okay. people like a lot of haunters like doing this kind of stuff themselves. Yep. So I wanted to offer both. So that they can create their so own they can, right. character with their own with their own flavor mm -hmm. to it. So you, you sell it as one whole unit or you can piece it out Correct. as well. Right. That is really cool. That is really cool. Thank you. Um, so just to recap here, we can find everything from holiday ornaments or themed Halloween, Halloween horror themed ornaments um, to full zombie costumes at what was the what was the uh the full uh url is uh www.etsy.com forward slash shops forward slash carnal barker 
Perfect. And again, we'll leave a link in the description below. Um, what do you think of the show so far? Uh, I'm I'm enjoying myself a lot. Yeah. It's it's fun been connecting with everyone Absolutely. and networking yeah, with a lot of local haunters. And really, I mean, what it says it brings the community yeah, together. Yeah, definitely. And uh, it's fun to see everybody interacting on an almost intimate level. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's a lot of people out there. Yeah. But it's 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 you know it's, it's one on one more. It's not the big bustle of. It's a big not show. a huge crowd, so everyone mm -hmm. has a, a nice amount of time mm -hmm. to be able to like interact Absolutely. with each other. Mm -hmm. It's been cool. Absolutely. Sure. So looking forward to next year. Yeah, as am I, as, as are we. Yeah. So um, this is Dan with Inside the Harness Tree with Between Two Pumpkins. Don't forget to make sure you like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope, Inside the Haunt. And again, have a great night, guys, and we'll see you next episode.